outside of it appears to be a normal hut. Nothing too crazy. There's shrubbery, small trees, which is unusual I'm for this area. A shrubbery. As a player, I'm already sus. Not as a character, but as a player. <laughs> Shrubberies. <laughs> no, because he said it appears to be normal on the outside. It means not normal. <laughs> hey, the kazoo stopped. Pull up, kazoo kid. It's time. <laughs> Bet your ass when I pull out my corgi, though, Aloy's gonna be taking my spot in front of the webcam. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a left. My perception's worse as a blink dog, but I also get advantage because of the blink dog, so it's it's a complicated relationship here. Pulling things into it and a large contraption off to her right. Uh, intelligence check from everybody. Nice. <laughs> Saku, you're just pulling it. Out. Saki, you have no idea what the contraption off to her right is. I'm um, just, it, I'm just it's. Hey, hey, you! Don't touch. I heard you were a great fighter. Is this your weapon? Uh, can you not? <laughs> you see, this is one of those things that you could put on a weapon to make a weapon more lethal. I you pick up the telescope. Like, no, really? don't. With you. Um, but now that I've seen your garden and your alchemy room, um, could you give me some tips or a little bit of training in alchemy? Is this uh, McCowan's official request to be an alchemist? Yes, it is, because with my mutagen and I have alchemist supplies, I thought it worked perfectly. Alrighty. I'll give a ahead. little bow and say I apologize for my companion's forwardness. They have not even asked your name yet. Um, but I don't feel comf I don't feel comfortable with the two larger ones messing with the telescope. <laughs> I'm just seeing how it works. You said don't swing it, but you're right, it throws pretty well. Look, she's got like three, alright? <laughs> I'll give you a free claw if you want a claw. I got a crowbar you can play with as long as you don't hit things with it. A crowbar? <laughs> no! <laughs> don't hit anyone or any item in the current area and you can right. play with can the I crowbar. Keep, can I keep the crowbar if I don't hit anything with it? If you don't break it and if I can use it occasionally. Alright, cool. Good. As far as Donfell goes, uh, uh -huh. they, they've been running into some issues of their own. Uh, pirates, the scum of the sea, seem to be harassing their docks and fishing lanes. So, as you guys are leaving uh, over the doorway, since you entered before, you didn't see it, but now that you're exiting, there seems to be a, a feather in the shape of a moon, of the moon, a, a crescent moon, over the doorway as you leave. Maybe we could try to reason with the kobolds. Uh, I'm not opposed. And eventually, you see it go up a hill, and there's a large cave entrance up there. Um, I'm just gonna enter the cave entrance. I want to specify I do not have a weapon out. I am barehanded. Okay. I'm unassuming. I'll call out. I'm like, hello. Um, yeah, around, out. <laughs> around the corner, you s you hear. State your state your business. Just here to talk. <laughs> well, we can talk then. Um, you're not what's in charge. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I, what? what? <laughs> You're not the one in charge. <laughs> Who's in charge? I want to talk to somebody important. For a second, I thought but... I was going to give these guys a Boston accent. States your business. <laughs> States your business now. <laughs> so, what up? Most cool. If you don't want your people to be hurt by the other people, you got two options. Mm -hmm. You give them your shinies for your food. We, we understand it. Equivalent exchange. You give us shinies, we give you edibles. Or you need to teach your people how to hunt on their own and not hunt our people. I, uh, Are you opposed to working with people? Absolutely not. Alright, you. Get a bag full of shiny rocks and you're going to come with us. Everybody does their best to kind of press themselves up against a tree or a bush or tall grass 
and but McCowan is having a hard time with that and kind of just hits the dirt <laughs> going prone in a small divot the best he can. Well, you look like you could take on the warg. You feel like you could probably bash it in the head hard enough before it could seriously take too many chunks out of you. And if you feel like if you were real angry, you might just bend it over and ride it to victory. But um... I immediately wild shape out of a warg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, um, death, as you are prepping to leave your bush and make yourself known to the orcs, uh, you hear uh, the crunch of wood and then uh, a low moaning, growly scream almost. It is like, <laughs> and the orcs, one of them splits, just runs. And the other two stay, brandishing w weapons, and the warg is just, you know, snarling up a storm. And it's coming out from the left as you see a large branch of some kind come shooting across in front of you, impacting the warg and pinning it to a tree. Oh, nice. 20. You see it, Death. You see exactly what it launched fucking... That that large branch at them. It is a about a nine foot tall, so it's not extremely large, but it's larger than taller than you. Um, wicker bound looking wooden thing, like you see twigs and stuff wrapped in some sort of vinish looking object into hands, legs, and a rough body. And where the head would be is this stone white mask glowing with deep green eyes. And you see it just reeling up for another throw. Well, I'll point that out to everybody and then just hide further into my bush. I'm not fighting the big ass tree monster. I think it's time to roll out. <laughs> I'm definitely grumbling towards the the way we were walking. S -s Sorry, mom told me that we were steak ready. Um, but there's a in each of these barren areas, there seems to be this weird stone circles with uh, oddly shaped stones in them, uh, making the circle. Well, we're too stupid to figure anything out. I say we continue? Yeah, or I'll throw a rock at it. If somebody wants to stop me, you can stop me, or else I'm going to throw a rock at it. I'm just going to watch. Yeah, I was going to suggest <laughs> kicking it, so throwing a rock at it works. Yeah. Yeah, I just... rock, I figure, is farther away. I didn't want to be the guy that said I it. Feet, yeah. So I, couldn't kick it. I was very tempted to just leave an inanimate object in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw a rock at it. Um, I'm going to throw a rock specifically at the other rocks. I'm just going to lay down where I'm at. <laughs> still. The minute you th pick it up and throw it, you hear <laughs> shriek or cry from somewhere amongst the tall grass. Um, I'm going <laughs> to bolt <laughs> the fucking tree monster is my assumption. I would like to look at things. D okay, Rev or update. Death is running. <laughs> <laughs> the tree monster is what I heard. <laughs> and I am leaving. Uh, uh, Hallie casts this. One of them pops out of the brush, slamming straight into Hallie. Boom. Oh. Hallie, I need a strength save. Oh no! I will now show you what you guys are dealing with. Yes. Uh, tree? A tree ceratops? <laughs> then that's 12 normal damage. It's dead. <laughs> and 8 more radiant damage. <laughs> you you just hear off in the corner just screaming. Somebody's screaming at the top of the button. Just rage, I guess, at this point. And you also see, like, slight flashes of light as Death brings down his axe every time there's, like, a, a light flash of light from his radiant strikes. <laughs> Just going, DIE! DIE! <laughs> you didn't die? No, I killed the shit out of that thing. I thought we didn't want to fight. I thought that was the whole premise. Well, that was the plan until she got tackled. 
You would have known if you were here. Why didn't you guys run? Because we were busy looking at things. Do we want to run this time or fight whatever that is? I'm going to sit on a rock <laughs> until I see you guys leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, Saku, um, in the distance, unlike your tired and partially blind friends, um, you see smoke and a light emanating from what seems to be a watchtower of some kind. You knock on the door. Hello? You hear stumbling. It's like, shit, fuck, oh, shit. <laughs> the door opens. You're looking at head height, like you're going to see somebody you don't, but you look down and there's a gnome pointing a crossbow right at you. Oh, whoa, whoa, Hansel. Hey, oh. Uh what, what, where are you Where are you heading to, tra travelers? Uh, Donville? That checks out. Hey, Bro, you were right. saying something? I'm uh, having an issue keeping my eyes open. I'm going to call it a little bit early and I'm going to get some rest before work. You guys get a long rest. Um, I'm swapping uh, the spells over. An unmolested long rest. Nobody bothers you during it. You mean to tell um, me no one tried to I would like to... My boob. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying I would like to, and then he started saying that, and I want to clarify, I do not want to touch the snakey boob. Um, <laughs> are you- are you a lady snake? Yeah, that's why my name is Sissy Tits. That was- I was gonna be a male snake, but then I found the name Sissy Ticks. How many ladies do we have? Three. Three ladies. Oh shit, that's a lot. It's a lot more than I thought. It's just a taco fiesta here, fuck. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to the kobold to... and ask him what his name was. That's all I wanted. That's- McCormick. Thank you. Hey, got the good season. Like the seasonings? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, you guys uh, travel for about an hour, and you do eventually reach the gates of Dawnfell. Ooh, nice city. You guys get to the Harbor Master's office. It's a small building, but uh, you walk in. And you see a lady sitting behind a desk. Hello. Oh, hello. What can I do for you? Death, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Got a proposition for you. Uh, okay. You got fishing boats that need protection, and I got people that need fish. I'll bow and say it. It's tiny Argus. Because I didn't introduce myself. Argus? Argus. Argus. Interesting. Last name. Um. I don't believe you exist. There are several instances of problems that need. A potentially forceful resolution to them. I'm going to dump three quests upon you people. <laughs> so, pull out pens. Didn't catch your name there. I didn't, personally. Yeah, um, do we get a name from the Um, the high- the ones carrying the higher titles of the city must forgo their previous lives to take up the responsibility. Are you telling me so your, your name, name is Boatmaster? Is Harbor, Harbor My, Master. I, am the, I am the Dock Mistress, and that is it. Dock Mistress? Even better. Quiet you. Do you own me? <laughs> <laughs> this, hey, have you, you ever heard of docking? <laughs> <laughs> and she is currently running into some interesting and business issues that require some extra muscle and and perhaps a gentle touch and tight lips to fix out. Basically, can you keep a secret? <laughs> tight lips sinks ships? No, <laughs> loose lips. Are we sure Cat loves not the mistress? <laughs> All this tight lip talk. All his lips. <laughs> 
I'm going to refrain from using lips for the <laughs> you next two sessions. You don't know what the did to get to her position. I'm going to go find a unsavory place that honors mask and do that. I'm going to Mac- awkwardly Mac- walk around because it's the middle of the fucking day. <laughs> McCowan. Not a bad idea for me. Attack, okay. McCowan cracks the nearest manhole cover, jumps inside it. <laughs> that's that's where the poop goes, dude. That's what you think. <laughs> I just closed the manhole cover. <laughs> Good luck getting back out. <laughs> Allie is horse. <laughs> horse is horse. <laughs> I said later, so later we can get a horse, okay? No, Hallie is the horse. We can get a second horse. We can rent Halley out. <laughs> yeah, we can. Like, hey, you guys need a horse? Before horse we get this going, though, I'm going to look at every single one of them and be like, <laughs> degrading. Be- ever speak of this? We tell nobody. If Don't worry. I'll anything, be if you so much as pull on the reins, I will kick you so hard in the skull. I don't <laughs> think we have to pull on the reins. We can just be like, hey. We want to turn here, because we can see farther than you, because we're up on the thing. Well, somebody's got to drive the horse. It'll look really weird. It'll look really weird if nobody's driving the the horse. The second you pull on the the ring. We'll just tell him it's a well-trained horse if we have to lie and someone gets suspicious. Sorry, I'm hooking me up. And then I prance like a dressage horse the entire way. (laughs) She's pretty good at this. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> I was just gonna give her a handful of grass. <laughs> the chieftain says, uh, so it seems like we have been able to reach an accord due to this recent course of diplomacy. Yep. I uh, also secured you jobs. If you send bodyguards to help with ships, they will pay you in food. More than fair. I- I'm gonna walk up and knock on her door. Well, howdy. Uh, uh, who is it? It's me, Valeria. You remember me from a couple days ago? Yes. Trying to touch the telescope. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I was the one playing with the telescope. Wonderful weapon. Anyway. Uh, take this. She hands you a signet. Uh, it isn't her signet, but it, it, it's a, it is a signet. Uh, basically... A signet of the region showing that you're an honorable, worthwhile traveler. If you show this at most city entrances, um, they will let you in without questioning. We can go out back to the cart and uh, set up camp at the cart on yeah, the road. We'll in the cart. Okay. Oh, uh, you guys set up camp at the cart. Yeah. It's cozy in here, guys. <laughs> 